Hi, I'm Sarah Ann Smith. You can find me at sarahannsmith.com. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram at Sarah Ann Smith Q, but just stick my name in the file. I'm a Janome artisan. My name is uh, Terry Mingi, and I am a freelance educator for Janome, and you can find me on their education page. So, Sarah, what's the first thing you remember sewing? Clothes for my troll. I made, I bought felt. I was about six years old, and I can remember buying felt and then using some leftover scraps because Mama made me some clothes, even though she hated sewing. And I still have my trolls. My favorite one was named Jeannie Lemon, and she had bright yellow hair. And she is still in my sewing studio, and she's wearing a felt top and woven cloth pants. And I used white pins that I poked into her ears for earrings. Nice. <laughs> the ones that, those kind of trolls, or the? the, the you know, the little trolls, the little dolls with the, little... with the plas the path stick and the cheeks and the smiles and the big ears and then the <laughs> hair. hair. Yeah, that's her. Jeannie Lemon because her hair is yellow. Cool. If you were a sewing superhero, what would your uh, superpower be? Oh, either I would never need to rip out stitching and redo it or I would be able to wave a magic wand and remove all of those stitches because we all know it takes four times longer to take out something you've put in than it took to actually put the stitches in to begin with. So, the Ripper. Maybe that's it, Sarah the Ripper. Sarah the Ripper. <laughs> My superhero power would be to get Kimberly Einmo to do my piecing for me and yeah. then me passing it off as my own. That sounds good. I think what you need to do is you need to channel Kimberly. Channel. See, there you can oh. go. You can be, and then you make your own, because I know you can do Superpower it. Superpower to channel other people's creativity. Yeah, you get their skills, and all of a sudden, zoom through your mind and out the fingertips and under the presser foot. Can That'd you be good. What you could do with that. Oh, yeah. I could win one of those Paducah shows, I bet. Yeah, I want to win one of the Houston ones where you get the free ticket to go to the show. And then you win a prize so you can spend money at the show. I just want the money. That's that, my that's super, good too. super power to sell all my stuff so I can make money. Okay. And buy more Janome machines. Yeah, and time, time. time. I know what my superpower should be. I would have a time turner. We all need more time. So I'm gonna have a little special, here, we can use the Janome button. This is the secret Janome button. Back on the back, there's a little hidden button there and you press it and all of a sudden, your 17 minutes of time that you have turns into 17 hours and nobody from your family comes to nag you saying, mommy, will you fix me something to eat? You yeah. know what? How far can it go back? Because I'd like to go back when I had hair and could see to sew. I could without do that. glasses. Yeah. You know, I'd say I'd like to go back to the weight I was when I was 26, but I'm a lot happier now. Yeah, that, that comes in handy after all that time. Age does give you happiness, doesn't it? Yes, it, it does. You don't care what people think. You just mm. make stuff and have fun. I was much nicer when I was younger. <laughs> Oh, you must have been a total marshmallow. You're sweet now. <laughs> if there were no limits, what feature do you wish was on a sewing machine? Oh, boy. What feature? Something that cooks dinner. That's it. I think that, yeah. I think that's one of the most popular ones. Yeah, cooks dinner or cleans my house. If I ever get asked, you know, a uh, uh, genie, in four words, what I would want forever, it would be clean my house forever. If that was my only wish, I would take it. I think uh, for the 15,000, some they kind of helped you with that, where you could Just have the about. Acumonitor, you could be in the other room yeah. doing things yeah, that you yeah, really that, didn't want to do. That's right, how about a reverse Acumonitor, and you can be at your sewing machine, and it will tell you if something's going to burn in five minutes on the stove. Oh, that would be pretty cool. I think, yeah. There we go. Okay. 
Tell us about your worst sewing disaster. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, There's, isn't that a doozy? Uh, well, I would have to say uh, one was very recent. We were just sewing something today, and I am a little more meticulous. Mm -hmm. And uh, that uh, gauze part of that the, cuddle the, fabric, beautiful stuff. Yeah. But I'm just not used to my quilting fabric shifting and shifting and wiggling wiggling yeah and so when I and I cut off a piece and yeah didn't have no duct tape to fix it do you do you have those type a tendencies that you sort of need to beat into submission and kick out the door and they keep coming back going you yeah oh yeah because when I was ironing it I was trying to get all the lines of the gauze to be vertical and horizontal yeah. And then once I couldn't get that, then it all just kind of snowballed. So I just kind of threw it under there and hoped for the best. And sometimes that's the best way. Mm -hmm. That is the best way. And then if you've got duct tape and a, you know, a couple stick pins, as long as it looks good from the front when you yeah. take the picture. Yeah, if it looks good from the back of a running horse, you're fine. All right, here's a good one. This is a really good one, actually. What is your best sewing tip that you'd like to share? Don't sew after 10 p.m. Yeah, I'm. Although that's my most creative time because I start to slow down about eight, and mm -hmm. so I start to really think about things, and so I'll start creating stuff. But to actually sew it, I don't usually do so well at yeah. that time. But usually that's about the only time I have to sew is after 10 o'clock or so. Yeah, you're, um, I'm older than you are. My expiration hour is at about 6:30 p.m. <laughs> I can read and I can brainstorm and sketch, but I'm with you. It's, mm -hmm. That's when I start making mistakes and then I have to spend yeah. four hours the next morning ripping it out. I think that that's probably the biggest tip. And then the other tip is if your points don't come out, don't like get stressed out about it. Just keep sewing and then when you quilt it, throw a lot of thread at it and it'll look really good. Yeah, I've got a th three strikes and you're out rule. Mm -hmm. If I've picked it out three times, it's done. It's done. You know, whatever it is, it's done. And then I learned from a quilter who is brilliant. She wins top prizes all over the place. Even she had trouble making some th points match. And so she applied perfect circles over them. And it was a great design decision and it hid the, all of the errors. Mm -hmm. So that was a good one. You might just see a bunch of buttons on a quilt sometime and you'll be Bingo! Like, That's the way I cover it up. You got it. So this is a question that was destined for you. This had to be for you. There is no other way. If you were arrested, covered in stray threads and a rotary cutter in your hand, what would your friends and family assume you had done? <laughs> They said, oh, that's just him, don't worry. <laughs> that's just a normal thing for him. <laughs> yeah, walking around the house with, you know, scissors opened and rotary cutter in hand. Oh. Well, it reminds me, I think, yes, that they would probably think that was normal for me because one time I was quilting and cutting pieces and I'd get down on the floor, cut my pieces on the board and stuff. I sat the rotary cutter to the side and then I started doing something I just sat back Ow. and I was like what am I on Ow. And, I, Ow. and so that was I hope when you remember to close it first no that's Ow. why when you said that I knew exactly what they would think they'd think oh that's just Terry yeah well yeah put a little bit of black pepper on it it'll close up that and then put some super glow over it and call it a day yeah yeah my family doesn't worry they say when you know start people you have to worry when people start talking to themselves they're like mom you're already there I'd be walking around muttering to myself too oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah they'd probably make me a t-shirt that says run with runs with rotary cutters yeah 